No greater love has a man than a man who would lay out his life for a friend. Or, uh, or Jesus when challenged, you know, what is the greatest commandment? Jesus said, second commandment, greatest only to loving God while your heart is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. And he goes on even further to say that if you could do these two things, love God and love your neighbor as you love yourself. He said, and this rests all the laws and the prophets. If, if you could do these two things, you are well in the eyes of God. All that other stuff you're trying to do or stop doing or not be or not do, if you could love your neighbor with all of your heart, Love your neighbor as you love yourself. You'll be fine. Why? Because look at the Ten Commandments. Uh, the Most of the commandments are about, you know, exploiting <laughs> or abusing or using someone else. When you kill, when you steal, when you want something they own, when you want something they have, all that kind of stuff. It, it's, about, it's about how you're viewing somebody that you don't care too much about. But if you're supposed to love your neighbor, most of the ills that we have in life have to do with our not loving our neighbor. Okay, Love is a very important thing. I think love is a very important thing in, in marriages, in relationships. I think what's given love a bad rap are some of the movies, some of the... <laughs> <laughs> Some of the chick flicks that we see on TV, you know, love is just so so beautiful, so wonderful. And, and, and the image that we're being presented in some of these movies is like unrealistic. It's not real. You, you, want, you want to make my point. A lot of the actors that you'll find making these movies are divorced themselves, end up being with the person that they're co-starring with. Why is that? Love. That's the question is, can you fall out of love? I don't think you can fall out of love. I think you may not have loved that person. You thought you did. But, but real love, you can't fall out of love. And that's when you find people have been together 30 and 40 and 50 and 60 years. Because of love. They love. Now love doesn't mean everything's going to go smooth. Everything's going <laughs> to be without issues, you know, without storms and all that stuff. But, but love is that thing that commits you to an individual that no matter what, this is us. This is what we got. And, and God, in the midst of that, that three-strand cord, you, uh, your spouse, and God in the middle, can't be broken. Oh, man, it can be tested and tried. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> but it won't be broken. Because that's love. I think so we often throw that term love around. And there is no love so often infatuation, lust, and desire, and all that stuff. But again, when that dust settles, when that smoke clears, and you're just left with the other person, you better be loving that person, which probably not going to last.